glad we're not being sent to Australia. That would be a very long drive if I'd gone to Australia. But look who we found. The most beautiful young male leopard that we have in our area. Well, for me anyway. He has the most striking markings. A little tumba is sitting nicely in a little shady spot. And he's enjoying this cool morning and watching the world as it goes by. Now, mom's tracks do come this way. So earlier we were trying to track down that female leopard. And her tracks come in this direction. So I wonder if she's not somewhere here in the thickets and he's just biding his time waiting for mom to actually come to him and take him to another meal but he really is the absolute epitome of exquisite he's got the most incredible markings there's these deep rich blacks that are around his eyes and down his muzzle he really is spectacular looking now unfortunately he's hiding his face behind a little tree but i'm sure he will look in our direction shortly you can see he's watching another car that's just joined us He's busy having a look. Being a young leopard as he is, everything is still quite new and he's quite inquisitive about a lot of things. So you see he watches every now and then. But look at that face. Is that not amazing? He really has the darkest markings I've seen on a leopard in a long time. Oh, and a big yawn. And you can see, did you see his teeth there? He's actually got his milk teeth are busy falling out and his proper canines are coming through. So he's got by the looks of it, eight canines at the moment because the newer ones are pushing the older ones out. So he's actually got double canines on the top there. So if anyone got a screenshot, you can send it through to hashtag Safari Live and you'll be able to see that they've got more than just the two canines on top, definitely. I didn't see nicely on the bottom, but maybe we can count them if somebody sends a screenshot for us. Now, you can see he's quite a tired boy. I would imagine he's been up to no good with mom away. Young male leopards, or any young leopard, often is quite naughty when mom is away. They'll play around and they'll chase small things like birds and mongoose and varying other interesting things to investigate. And he's actually not too far from Chitwa Dam where there is a multitude of bird species that could have kept him occupied. There's lots of monitor lizards in this area. So he would have had quite a field day during probably the night chasing things around so maybe a little bit tired now and eyes are just starting to close a little bit you can see when a vehicle moves he's still quite alert so because he's not with mom at the moment he'll feel a little bit more vulnerable and therefore he'll be a lot more aware of vehicles moving if mom was here you'd probably find that he would be actually quite relaxed and sleepy and eyes would be closed but because mom's not here he's just watching and he's positioned himself behind a bush where he at least has some sort of cover that he can feel a bit safer seems to have heard something now you can see how those ears are working the whole time and he certainly has been gifted with big ears his hearing must be incredible he's got these massive ears in relation to the size of his head so another big yawn now i wonder if we're not going to start moving i hopefully he's not going to head into this horrible thicket that's behind him because inside there is going to be very difficult to follow um, but it looks like he might and you see look how he's getting low so he's still not that used to vehicles on his own and if you get a little bit close to him, he kind of crouches down, trying to stay hidden. And that's just his response to any sort of potential threat. He knows that without mom around, he needs to try and hide himself as well as possible. So that just going down and dropping his head is just to make his profile a little bit lower and make it a little bit harder to actually notice or see him. Now, this is only the second time I've actually seen Tumba. And I've got to say, he is probably my favorite young male leopard we have in the area. I know Hosanna is beautiful and he's in his own right an incredible specimen but this guy is just something about him. He's got amazing eyes and markings and he just really does look quite spectacular. I would love to see him in five six years time when he's a big adult male leopard in whichever territory he ends up settling. I think he's going to be a stunning individual and probably quite a big boy too if we judge the size of his paws and his ears he's going to be that typical Karula bloodline where all the boys are very chunky and big males now we're going to sit with him for a while because I think he's going to be quite entertaining this morning and I'm hoping he's going to get up and start moving towards the dam and maybe go and chase some birds 
So while we do that, let's go across to James, who I believe has got a bird of his own.